paying little away to come closer. And uh, our the level of patience which we have to show at this point of time, it should be up to a limit, up to, a, to, up to touch the limit of the Himalayas. Well, this is the time where some people, even if they are advocates, even if they are human rights activists, they will not be allowed inside the campus where the police has the all power to roam around, where the place police is, has the power to come in, then that is our right, the rights of the students to get our lawyers inside and to speak on the own. Because we were trying our level to speak to the registrar and other all other officials to get the own human rights activists and advocates in. But still they are saying that they are outsiders. I would like to ask you the administration that the friends of the, the friends of the registrar and the VC will be insiders for you. Administration were giving instruction that if some faculty takes the responsibility, is it okay? How the administration is considering the students? What is our position here? Is it our campus? Or are we here refugees? We don't have any kind of the rights. We have to think. We have to think and act democratically. I repeat again and again, the provocations is too much. Provocations is too much where we show that our students were brutally beaten up. They were pulled to the pulled to the van, and after taking to the van also, they were they, they, the police were beating them. And yesterday, Rohit's mother came. She came here to meet the students here, and to ask the police and the Telangana government that where are the arrested students? What happened to them? And what are the cases charged on them? There were no replies. Administration clearly said that you cannot come inside because she is not the friend of our way, our registrar or the VC. She is mother of a student. Our parents we keep on calling. Not only our parents who are staying outside, we are getting the calls from the students who got into the jail as well. One of the mother were crying on crying to me and saying that you people we are not able to do anything, my children. What is happening in the Hyderabad, Hyderabad campus? What is our reply on that? Reply for that. And still, we are in a dilemma. We are in a fear. What else will happen? What else can be happen to the A student community where our basic demands or basic amenities, which include the food, were denied for two days? 25 students and two faculties were still staying outside. And they appealed to the other faculty members. You may know that, you saw that, how the JNU campus protested when the JNU Students Union President got arrested. We had body got arrested. We were brutally beaten up. We saw that blood on the face of the Jatim sir as well as Tadadi sir. Why are we keeping still away from the from the mode of the protest? What is the problem to be united and to do a protest against the autocratic administration and the government which tries their power, which applies their power in the ugliest form? If we are if we are still thinking, if we are still thinking to raise our voice, if I if I'm not wrong, what Martin Luther King said, the silence of the good people are more problematic than the, silent, the sound for the bad people. <laughs> are we going to speak? The number of the students who, who, joined, who gathered here, this much only as the, as the people who have the concern on the 25 students, which includes Bengali Chauhan, Student Union Vice President, I don't know, like, I once again appeal and the people who were there at the time of the police crackdown. 
that much. I don't know how, how I will explain that situation. But I didn't get any beaten out. I am the first person who thrown out from the gate. I asked the CIA at that time itself, what are you going to do with us? Then he said that I, we won't even touch you. We will take you out. Then I said that don't, don't take me also, I can walk. So please give an explanation on upper house arrest. Then they, they started taking me and they, that same CIA they taken me like a kid. And he was throwing me outside. Then it came into the violent mode. Still, you can see the presence of the police everywhere. The administration building and all other spaces where we used to roam around very freely. That space were given to the police. This he can sit in the sit in the his building. And he want to sit a, he want to get an office to sit and some milk to drink. As he given the task to the his subordinate to arrange 10 or 15 liters of the milk to drink all over the day. Let him drink. I once again appeal you to speak to the uh, to your, your friends and explain the things to them. And we have to scan unitedly. And our demand is very clear in front of you all. Our demand the, our present, presently and all our time, our demand was removal and arrest of the Afro. Still it continues. The accused people, accused students, being treated as criminals. But the accused high other high level officials will be given VIP priorities. Let them. Let them give. We don't have any, any criticism on that. Because we realize that we are living in a country where the right wing Hindu the forces who believe in the Manuadic ideology were ruling. They will, they will keep on doing the same. And we will, we, the students, will come to the Shoko and all other public places wherever we can go and speak and shout. Because we still, we still believe in the justice. We still carry the legacy of Dr. Baba Sahib Ambedkar and Bhagat Singh. Martyrdom Day for the Bhagat Singh, who showed the politics for the students. And we believe in that. Your Latis, your guns cannot make any fear among any of the students of the University of Hyderabad campus. Parents of the students who vote are arrested. We will continue our protest for the students, which include the students' union vice president, to get the get a release without unconditionally. And once again, I appeal to the teaching and non-teaching staff to come unitedly and to protest against this kind of the this kind of the autocratic actions, autocratic decisions by the administration. J B. Lalchalam.